there are any problems with the format of this project, idea, inclusion of content, etc., then know that I am doing this series without any ill intent to any other game, developer, or parties of which their content may appear. As for the game I'm making and am playing for this series, all credits are included in a text file that comes with the game to the best of my knowledge. At the time of this video's recording, if any other individual, group, or site is selling this game to you, for example, you have purchased the RPG Maker game I made on this channel from someone else, it is considered a violation of terms of service and several end-user license agreements. Therefore, I take no responsibility from any disputes or issues that may arise from such transactions. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. So you might see the game that's on screen right now, but I this, I'm just going to take at least a minute or two more to kind of explain this part. So if you want to skip the intro to all of this, or for some reason you already know what I'm doing, then skip ahead to the timestamp. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of generally explain what I'm doing here, uh, as you may have read from the description or the thumbnail. Basically, I'm... I made a game in RPG Maker MV. I don't even know if this project's going to be any good, but that's why I'm trying it out and seeing if it's going to work. At least it's going to be fun for me, uh, because I normally like to... I mean, I don't know. It's I've always been doing this. Uh, even since I was a kid, I just liked developing games and just trying them out for myself. And I just always had some fun with it. So what's going to happen is, if I put something on screen, then maybe it'll be rules or something. But otherwise, uh, the gist of it is I'm going to be playing other games. Uh, of course, I could have saved up any number of games but for various reasons I cannot use them for this project but basically I'm going to be playing a game and that will dictate uh, at least my preparations and I'll see if anything else um, in the what I'm going to call just RPG is what I'm calling it and it this will game will be available on itch.io in case you're interested and you can pretty much play along with me if you want, or give feedback and so on and so forth. So basically we're starting with World of Horror and Bay and the um, the goal is that, based on my performance in the game, in this case World of Horror, for this video, uh, I will start off with a certain number of gold in Just RPG. Now, right now Just RPG isn't anything large, I kind of just went bare bones with it, but I hope this video will give you some insight into what I'm planning to do. And if it's a very, very bad idea, then I guess I'll just swerve, otherwise I'm going to start getting to it. Uh, as for World of Horror, I did come up with some rule sets, uh, not challenges if you've seen my World of Horror videos, but just a very baseline thing. So again, rules should be on screen right now. All I need to do is survive the run to get a gold bonus. There are other things as well. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with trying to finish the run in less than 9 minutes. If I can survive the run in less than 9 minutes, I get an extra 15 gold. And if I defeat two bosses, that's another 15 gold. You'll see what this gold is used for when I switch to just RPG, but basically I'm going to be... That's the format of this video is I'm going to go through. So we're going to switch to World of Horror. And if you skip to the timestamp, then I hope you've uh, followed suit. Uh, there are other rules, but so I'm, I'm going to do sudden death, very hard, random timeline, and hit quick play, and basically we just try to survive, because I was just lowering that to just uh, make sure I had everything set up. Uh, and it's been a while, I'm trying to get back into it, but... Oof, uh, I, this might not be pretty. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, we're going to discard that right away. Uh, I can kind of tell what timeline I'm on. I think you have based on your outfits, but we'll see. Uh, this is, the lighthouse is as it is. I'll be checking this again because I'm going to promptly forget. Uh, but I will keep in mind that I have a second encounter check, um, among with others. I think there was a, a few set stat checks, but I'm, I don't want to be sure until I at least finish one, finish one mystery. So, yeah, medical history of those two. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Do the normal thing. Uh, actually, do I want to take this out? Yeah, I want to take this out. Um, yeah, and it looks like we're on timeline A, unless I did that completely wrong, but we're also going to take a peek at that. I might as well, and we will get into it. I've really lost touch. I mean, I've kept in touch with the community, but uh, or at least looked into the community every now and then just to see if there's anything interesting, but other than that, uh, actual, like, I've been playing other games, obviously, so... <laughs> Uh, we're going to do Vigil first, because I saw I had Scissors and I think Festival, but... And I hope I remember everything, because I really do not. I don't even have a, a weapon with me, so... If need be, I'll run, because it though two extra damage, I do not want to take. But that all depends on how many battle encounters. Again, this, pro this project as a whole might be a bit... Well, it is going to be RNG, just from the nature of just RPG. Four Claps. Uh, and I have to leave it in my thing. So... 
Uh, also, we're diligently waiting for uh, Pants Staz to come back and update, but obviously, if you're in tune with World of Horror right now, uh, then you know the deal. If not, then basically, uh, just we're patiently waiting. Uh, uh, so we're under the assumption that nothing bad's happened, uh, based on uh, word from publishers and whatnot, and everyone who uh, has kind of looked uh, looked up on the status of, of Pants Staz, so... Uh, yeah, that was. I, I will patiently wait. It's not a problem. So, as long as nothing bad's happened, that's good. Also, yeah, I think I'm gonna. Since we're a Tho two and we're not Fish God, I will. Well, we're gonna find out right now. Uh. Well, either way, this is gonna suck. So I'm gonna take Reason for now. Usually, I'd save on Reason. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna take uh, an RNG gamble. Uh, I don't know if ever any, anyone's actually looked it up, and if someone has, then I've prompt, I've promptly not found out. But whether or not you take more stamina or reason damage in the game, uh, to kind of put it bluntly, yeah, this will be about either five doom for running away, or about I say about what what is this? Uh, four reason. Uh, because I do this, this is ten damage. I can get fifteen damage, so three. <laughs> I guess it's not too bad. You know what? We're going to take this here at least. That way I can get some experience as well. Um, and we'll see how well we do. Oh, that's right. We're on... Uh, we're on freaking medical history. Well, i kind of already gone into it. I mean, I could have ran away there, but... I, It's not too bad. Uh, as long as I don't get injured too much. So, um, you know what? We're just going to play it safe here. No reason to risk some freak accident happening accident happening uh 2 p.m oh i don't think i even did the did i, did I do the thing at 11 a.m well we're gonna find out either way i was gonna sacrifice the guests uh, but running into well the guest fights themselves aren't that hard but yeah Ooh, uh i just remembered something i'll probably put it in later uh hold on let me think because fighting the old man is more doom um <sighs> yeah, you know what? We're gonna just sacrifice the guests. I also had to check something in the background, but yeah, this is fine. I, I'm saying as I proceed to die, but uh, yeah, nine minutes. Uh, so we're we're using the in-game timer, so nine minutes. Uh, that's gonna be really improbable as long as I'm taking the time to just look at these things. But you know, uh, it is what it is, and you'll again you'll see what I use the gold for for it, depending on this. Surviving the run is obviously the most important thing, but, you know, anything could happen. Uh, do I just want to take scissors now? Oh, I didn't even do the... Well, I probably could have done the... Well, no, this is a timeline uh, A, so it doesn't really matter. Kind of. Uh, library notes. This. Excess storage. So, triangle electricity. And I hope I'll remember that. So, yeah, let's see. Actually, we can check right now. So... Uh, six minutes, unless... Oh, that's right, I walked out for a moment. Yep, so, I mean, I'm just gonna take it. So, I'm probably not gonna finish this run in nine minutes. Uh, I did have a boss, but... Ooh, do we have... A, do I have another boss? Uh, well... Again, I've chosen this timeline. So, uh, dexterity, please. No strength, that's strength. I'm... Goes to show how much I know about this game, or at least remember, but... Uh, curse sign's not too bad, so... Uh, you know, actually, let's do this to kind of even it out. And then, yeah, now we will go to reason. I will actually take one strength, considering the weapon I'm using, and anything else I decide to do. Uh, I think I even had a strength check. And if not, then, well, I don't. Young Witch, on the other hand, uh, I could throw the baseball bat and do a double. Uh, I could also risk that, but let's just be safe. Okay, whew. Uh, yeah, I kind of made a mistake. The Steak Knife does more damage on throw, so... And I also gained experience for that, so... It's not a bad trade. I would have liked to have everything to throw here. Never mind, we're on timeline B. <laughs> well, we're gonna take a big guess, because I've gone crazy. I'm not gonna consider myself dead if I fail all of these, because technically, I'm not going to... I won't die even if I get all five of these wrong, even though they should all be doing minus two damage. Uh, but like I said, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, also, we now know what the um, the ritual is. Clap, bow, clap, bow, bow. If I forget, then I forget because I'm not writing things down in the background. So, yep. 
Uh, we're gonna take another. I could learn another spell, but I'm just I'm not. I'm probably even just gonna sell the library notes. Uh, I could take festival now, but yeah, we don't. We technically don't have any other more boss fights. That not that that was a boss fight in itself. So yeah, the most we can get on this run is twenty gold. Uh, do what now? Let's just rush this so that I can at least rest at the lighthouse. I think someone did a test and got uh, could finish a very hard run with 15% doom or less, but I'll have to look that up again because, uh, I mean, there are a few people in the community who are obviously very, uh, not gung ho, it wouldn't, isn't the right word, but, uh, they're veterans. Just like every community, every game ha has its community and its veterans, um, World of War has its own as well. In per my from my personal uh, observation, so here we could try to make use of them and spend some doom. Uh, spend some doom here. Uh, do I want to? Can I brace into this? If I could brace into this, uh, that would be kind of good. It'll depend though. Never mind. Uh, we'll do it one more time. We learn two regenerations. You know what? One more time. I really shouldn't be doing that, this, but I've kind of already, uh, I think I get injured here as well, but I don't want to run because then my doom would be too high, so, and that was more RNG strat, uh, if I got a good spell, I got a good spell, if not, then yeah, it, it, it is what it is, uh, we'll do this one more time, we'll just take the safe way out, I think that, I think I'm not being optimal, but it's too late, I've already done what I've done. Uh, Tome of Rot, uh, I, yeah, I think this, do I want to, is there anything, oh, yeah, that's right, cigarettes, 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 uh, not that it would be too useful, but, oh, goodness, um, otherwise I'd buy something in the hospital to recover, I uh, will take the out here, some, I remember some of the events, the obvious events, but after that, uh, let's burn this for less doom, or to remove doom, so, third mystery, 38% doom. Not too bad. Um, yeah, but if we run too much, then it's going to all add up. Thankfully, hopefully, I'm only going to run from a few more. So, even with this, even if my doom shoots up to like 60% right now, or by the end of this next mystery, I f I'm feeling pretty good. Um, oof. Let's take knowledge, and if we get another level up, well, we might go double. Because I think I had a knowledge uh, check in the lighthouse. And if I do, that would be very, very good. We could also rest at festival, but I'm going to say festival for last, because it's it's a pretty safe mystery. Um, yeah, it's a safe mystery. Do I want... Uh, okay, so we did lose funds, so let's do this so we don't uh, accidentally run into the out-of-funds man. Which is, I think it's an overall resource loss, unless you absolutely need something that it gives you. Let's find out. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's not too great, but I'll take any ally I can get. I could forget this now, but we'll save it for a bad day. I mean, we, I should forget one of them, because having two of a spell doesn't do anything unless it's a consumable. Strength, please, nope. Or that was maybe that was the out. I like I said, I don't remember everything now. Uh, uh well, I, w I would have hoped, but I could also just trade reason for stamina right now. Yeah, let's do that right now. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna keep heading forward. So again, sixty percent doom right now, uh, but it's not too bad yet. Considering we have festival next, it's not it's not too bad. <sighs> What a nice time for dexterity failure. Uh, that again, that's not the worst thing in the world. So there, there are a lot worse injuries than that. So I don't mind not getting that. We also have discipline to help out with our stamina. So, do I want to use a steak knife here? What would I run into in festival? Well, anything that I'm running into here. So I can't run into ribcage woman again. I don't think. Uh, so I might run into the big fuzzy elf. I can't remember what it's called, but you know what I mean. Uh, I could spend two stamina. Or, yeah, I could spend two stamina and then try to one You know what, I'm gonna go with that. Just, well, we'll take the big gamble here. So hopefully one, at least one of these hits. Okay, now I'm out for free. 
Unless something weird happens, and uh, yeah. So we're, we're healing reason, we're healing stamina. This is all good. This is a pretty, this is a pretty uh, solid run. So I at least get my gold's worth in just RPG. Of course, if I finish this in under nine minutes, the main reason uh, I didn't miss because I in the video you'll see that I make a cut. In real life, I went to get something to drink before I came back to recording because this was gonna be uh, really tough on me. Also, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done this, but it's too late. Uh, well, enjoy the festival. Look for a friend, quote unquote, but actually just decline, just so that we can. If we get a good ally, I'll take it. But otherwise, uh... yeah. So we're gonna do this, and uh, now we will sell the library notes, and then we're just gonna go to the forest and hope that we don't die. Otherwise, nonetheless, I should be okay, even if I'm taking guarantee. Uh, I'll just take options that guarantee. Uh, well, that don't. Uh, revolve around me taking skill checks or stat checks because that would be really bad uh which one is it was it uh, pray that didn't because if you fail one of them it's uh doom increase and i don't want that core strength so yeah this is looking this is good rng i'm not gonna lie um on what i did uh, there is some strategy that goes into it but Again, I'm not going to lie when I say that uh, the RNG on the perks I've got, the events I've run into, the not running into too many encounters is helping me a lot. That said, I could run from this, but I don't want my doom to rise too high. So, we're going to take this fight. Yeah, we're going to take this fight. And hopefully don't die somehow. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do this, and hopefully I hit a bunch of these... I would really like to do that. Well, can't run anymore. That would be really bad. But I think I should still be okay. Question mark. You know what? We're going to take the big gamble. I really shouldn't be doing this, but oh, I might as well do this to guarantee one. But okay, I'm out. And so now we go ahead to the quote unquote boss. But and if we're on timeline B, I'm just going to take ending A anyway. Uh, no reason not to. I don't need the item that comes from the encounter. And my doom would rise anyway from this encounter. So, uh, yeah. Is it really? Is this really timeline A? Why did I? Why did it feel like I'm on timeline B? Because uh, because I did had to do the ritual for scissors. That's why. Uh, we take so we take our last key. We take our last bath, and we head to the lighthouse. We should be okay. I don't need to rest at all. Um, yeah, we don't need to rest at all. So, second encounter, second... No, it's just second encounter. And a light check, but... I don't remember a second encounter, but even so, I should be okay. Uh, we're just gonna play it safe, though. And act like we're on, like, 95% doom. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Yeah, no, it was not. Uh, I completely forgot. Also, I passed that check, so I got plus one stamina. There's still a few tidbits here and there, there uh, in game that Panstaz will smooth out, but yeah, like I said, it's not too bad. So we get out of this run. I didn't defeat two bosses, and I didn't finish this in less than nine minutes. I think even if I didn't take that break to go out, I would have. It would have been more than nine minutes. So, without further ado, we'll switch to uh, just RPG. So, if you're watching this right now, then this is the game I made in RPG Maker MV. If you didn't notice before, then you'll notice that the window is differently sized in video. That's because, well, RPG Maker MV's window size, I didn't adjust anything and I kind of went bare bones with this, uh, or as much as possible. But this will be available on itch.io, so if you're curious and want to use your own time for this, be my guess. Otherwise, like I said, the main reason I'm doing this is because, uh, the main reason why I did World of Horror first is so that to determine basically my prep here. Uh, that's all that's really going to get me is this, but anything better than that. And the objective of this is to basically make it to the end, quote unquote. There are really only two battles, so all that's going to happen is I'm going to... Um, I have to basically clear two battles as of the game's development right now. I guess you could call this in... Uh, you can call this game in in development, but you know, you'll see what happens. So um, this specific one, if you noticed, I even did this. So that's me. 
just as my character, if you actually play this game and you enter the code, you can do that. Otherwise, you just get something else. But basically, uh, I'm just making this as hard as I can for myself because, uh, yeah, all these are not great. <laughs> so, again, I'm fighting this bat and then I need to fight the boss, quote-unquote, at the end here. All credits are given, uh, or should be given to the best of my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, uh, also, all my skills are basically a worse version of the skills that you'll get playing this vanilla. Uh, unless you decide to play as me, then you'll get the exact same experience. Also, let's do this real quick <laughs> so I don't die. As, you've, uh, as you may notice, I've also uh, tested and played this game myself. So I guess it's kind of not fair, but that's why, I say, like I said, it made it harder on myself. Um, also, yes, having, to, having this... This healing salve is only really going to be useful before the fight, because if I use it during the fight, I'm taking more damage. I also might likely use lose this, because I'm... Unless I do I actually just have to go. It's... If you play me, basically, in this game... If you play me in this game, uh, it's a lot of RNG you have to deal with, if you're trying to be um, efficient. And, yeah, I think I might just end up dying. I won't retry if I die. I allowed myself to retry, but... Oof. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, I can't even dodge anymore. Well, I hope she blocks or dodges, otherwise I'm in trouble. And I have to hit this attack. Oh, I... Please dodge again. Oh, well, heavy attack, I'm dead. <laughs> well, there goes that. So, this is what's gonna happen in this, I guess, project series. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but it is what it is. So, huh, and I'll try it again. As soon as I finish a run, I will basically make it harder for me to clear but we'll see at least every week i want to add something to this game to make it harder for myself or others if others or slash uh for example you decide to play this game but yeah that's a failure so without further ado if this is going to be the first part of i hope something i just start on while i'm playing other games as well world of war won't be the only game if, if i put a schedule up then i have if not then yeah otherwise if you want to support me, support me. I would really love it if you subscribed. If you watched my video up to this point, I'd like to thank you. I won't be saying this much more often because obviously there's no point, but in the middle of this series, but as it is right now, as my first episode, I'd like to thank you for watching. Support me if you want to. That would, I I would really appreciate it, and I would thank you for doing so. Jared and MML. Whew, I'll be back.